a, a bunch of incredible placements at some smaller brackets, uh, such as the NJIT Highland Masters as of recently, uh, going to a lot more offline events, trying to prove that they're not just an, a Wi-Fi warrior now that they can go to more offline events. And Ram uh, is once again getting to that fold for a different reason, starting to play a lot more because they're not as busy with school at the moment. Also an NJIT student. So these two are somewhat familiar with each other's play style, and they are here to show it off at Fusion with a little bit more online. Absolutely. We got a classic matchup on our hand. This is like maybe like first... I want to say first active ultimate. This is one of like the top tier matchups you would see at every single major. This has been like these these grenades are going to be huge for Snake because if Palatina happens to nair in the wrong position, she can get blown up instantly. And now that combo that you or that pressure, that shield pressure, gone. It's not even yours anymore. Now Snake gets to convert into so much damage. But if Hydra can keep like Ram at bay at ledge, he can make so much bread before he, like Ram could even continue to like pull up on any setups that he can muster. What I love about Hydra is that they know, they really understand what makes Palutena broken. And sometimes they'll just fall into this, like, I'm going to run around and use Palutena's insane speed. And after the initial Nair, uh, Nair combos and uh, Nair setups that they can go for, it's all back air mode. It's all back mm -hmm. air, forward air, dash attack. It's just this very like focused game plan on what tools to use, not trying to waste any movement, not trying to waste any button presses. Meanwhile, Ram. Everything comes from grenades with this guy. It is all about the grenade setups, how you can bounce them off the ground, toss it, lobs, tosses, uh, hard throws, cooks. It is all of that and more. But the up smash breaks the cypher and almost takes out the first stock. Luckily, Battlefield is on Ram's side. And we'll get to see how he can maneuver around these platforms and try and get down from this insane like vertical and horizontal pressure with the explosive flame far and the up air always moving. Man, you were not wrong about that wa That no wasted movement. Hydra is not approaching and not interacting with Snake unless absolutely necessary. Their positioning has been consistently so good to where those back airs, like, they'll either win, you can, fa you can fall back to center stage if they whiff, you can do, you can, the back air will, like, make you a cake, do your laundry, it'll do anything you want, and Hydra understands this. And it just comes down to really good positioning to utilize that. But even percents on Battlefield is going to leave this to a bit of a scrap fest. They're both maneuvering around each other, that roll in F tilt, so smart. I thought he was going to go for a grab and a back throw, but no, that, that F tilt was so, so smart. I don't think uh, Ran or Hydra was ready for that did not seem like it, especially since the Explosive Flame was the strong Ooh. version. Almost finding the forward air on that warp as they're trying to get some combos off of these off these explosions, off these grenades, but the Ooh. neutral air falling into the up tilt. Not a, didn't get the combo version, but still was able to anti-air effectively. And now Hydra can get uh, potentially get that uh, neutral air started, a couple forward air pokes, and now you're looking at the Palutena 50 being absolutely online. Oh, goodness Ooh. gracious, that was so smart. Ram has been like consistently good about keeping Grenade at an area where Nair is not going to be effective for, for Palutena. But Hydra finds that one opening to convert into an insanely smart combo at the very end of the day. That up smash lingering for so long and doing reaching just so high. Yeah, and Snake doesn't have the airspeed to reliably DI exactly. so many of those uh, so many of those setups. Oh, and explosive catches him flame. pulling Grenade. That's not where you want to pull Grenade in that situation. A lot of Snakes fall into the habit of just like wanting to pull Grenade. That's like their safe option. But Hydra saying, can't do that. The mix attempted to come out from Ram, trying not to do exactly that. Pull grenades right in front of Hydra's face before and letting themselves get grabbed. Hydra was a little bit stunned, but able to pivot in off of the kill. And now this could be a stock in and of itself. One more up air, they're looking for it. And Snake has oh, nowhere to go, but the grenade comes in clutch. But Hydra still has one full stock advantage in this situation. They can afford to scrap with uh, Snake. They can afford to take these grenade explosions. That Nair 1 not being very reliable on the platform, and he's going to lose center stage for it. These explosive flames doing such a good job of keeping him at bay. All these projectiles are just so hard just for Snake to move through because you can't really pull grenade anymore. You get to a percent where anything, literally anything, will kill. And you need to conserve that for your next stock, but... Oh, I know what happened. He was crouching, so he was crouching, so he was like, I'm going to be below this uh, C4. But that the auto reticle <laughs> stood him straight up, so he got hit by the C4. I love that. That's funny. That's really funny. And that goes right into Hydra's natural game plan. That natural game state of, I know Palutena is fast enough to get in and out of the corner mm -hmm. without Ram pro providing too much pressure. So I can sit in this corner and feel extremely comfortable. I just throw out these, uh, throw out these auto reticles, throw out these explosive flames. If you punish, uh, punish them, punish me for them then that's fine. I have a stock up and I can play with that. I can play with this lead just fine. But as long as you are sitting there 
using your grenade play, I'll pepper you until the kingdom come. Knowing how to play with a lead is such a strong asset in this game. A lot of players seem to fall in this habit of, I'm going to continue to play the same game, and ultimately they'll lose trades or they'll lose momentum, and then it all just falls apart from there. But knowing how to play with a lead like Hydra just showed, such a it's a mark of just a really good player. Yeah, he's, he comes from Wi-Fi, which can be a little bit natively inconsistent when uh, in prolonged advantage. So being able to play with that lead and play on a more passive level, mm -hmm. playing off your back foot and resting on your heels can be just as rewarding in both an environment, an online and an offline environment. Yep, it's all about prediction and movement. And uh, from what you see from a lot of Wi-Fi players, they know exactly what moves are safe and they know exactly how to space their moves to where you can't touch them no matter what they try to throw out. It's so it's super commendable, but with Snake on the ledge, Palutena is going to warp back to center stage. That actually, I think that got buffed in, a re in, a, in some middle patch and just that option now is viable to just take back center stage. And Palutena with center stage is such a scary thing. Yeah, Palutena kind of got a couple a couple trades with some of her moves. Like they, mer they nerfed Nair, but then buffed up tilt, like things like that. Like give and take in order to try and tone her down, but keep her in the same place in the metagame, which in my opinion, worked. I think they did that with Ike as well. And I think yeah. Ike is one of the best balanced characters Ooh, in this game. Out. What a call out. That was so good. Snake's Fair notoriously being one of the hypest moves in this game, in my <laughs> opinion. When I see somebody pick up grenade, I just want to grab them throw them backwards and just fair them. It's the, one of the most satisfying moves in the game to hit. Bottle type with that uh, with that heal kick is high percent. So now uh, Hydra passing the magic number of 160. Mm -hmm. A grab means death as well as many of other uh, many other Oh, tilts. not the turnaround. You hate to see that happen. Going all the way off stage for a fair, missing the warp to ledge, and he's going to eat a cypher for it. And we're right back to center stage. Trying to call out a dash in. Oh, that back throw is going to give you center stage. How are you going to use it? Air dodging to ledge and Cypher once again gets Hydra not only uh, gets Ram uh, back onto stage, trying to find a proper oh, spacing, but he the threw his hand. Flame. The hurt box shifting is ever so precise. He's, and he, that's he a saw the light and he reached towards it and he went into the blast zone. And th this is a very fragile Palutena stock, but make oh, yeah. no mistake, this is a Palutena stock that can get 60% before it even begins to think about dying. Or it could do zero because it's at 170%. What are you going to do? Yeah, it was fragile, but Hydra knows uh, a lot of ways to prolong their stocks longer and longer. Though that immediate dash attack is something I want to see a little bit more from Ram. Like this grenade play is what he's known for and what really helps him win some really hard matchups or some uh, closer to even ones. But Ram, sometimes when you find yourself in this mid-range, if Hydra's going to focus a lot more on these auto radicals and all of these explosive flames, bully them for it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the parry on the forward tilt in the second Ooh, hit. No air dodge, so we can't break out a Cypher early, but Hydra not recognizing that. And more often to keep center stage, obviously that's been working for a lot of the set. But when you can find an opportunity against Snake, you need to hit him hard, because this character will give you no mercy. Neither will Palutena. That up smash lasts for a year and a half. I'm surprised that actually didn't hit. Oh, looking for the frame perhaps with down air or perhaps just a bait in order to try and force an early option from Hydra. Either way, neutral is back and the dash attack comes in time. This top platform being so helpful for both players just to escape so much of this ledge trapping. It's been all neutral for both of these two. Trying to find another mix, but Hydra not falling for it. Yep, he's been doing such a good job of baiting Hydra to come in. But that back air is just going to send him off stage. Up tilt, not going to connect. Really good Tomahawk. And the, he's got no jump. How does he convert off of this? He, uh, he's opting not to go down and spike Snake, which is really interesting because without like a jump or an air dodge, he's very limited in his recovery route. Uh, even with that back throw, with that backer, could even break Cypher or just even eat the hitbox, which makes it pretty safe. But that F tilt is gonna lead into the best recovery option in or edge guarding option in the game. Dash that gonna take it. Really, really smart stuff. That raged up snake, he's gonna give you the hands. And look, look at Ram starting to be a little bit more proactive in some of their gameplay. Their grenades are just a means to find some of these crazy tilts and to extend the pressure rather than rely on them just as starters. Another dash attack on ledge. The C4 gets dropped, and a grenade and C4 bouncing up, and Hydra has to teleport back to top platform. Finally, an up tilt comes out from Ram, which has not been a move that's been landing at all. Been very, very constrained with them. And oh, no, he himself forgot up it turn. was there. <laughs> I thought it. Oh, no. To be fair, I thought it was on the top right platform. But I he feel just like wants to make it even. He wants to keep it close. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you feel like you can do pretty well, so we can go back to this stage, and then I can just completely turn it on its head. Game three. But what I think Ram's been doing is that he found his rhythm. But these 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 nares are so so much pressure. But he finds the. He finds the parry into the F tilt, and he's going to regain center stage. And if you're Ram, you do not want to give this up for any reason, because Palutena can open you up. 
Oh, he, does, he just chooses not to go in. He's just daring you to press a button, daring you to approach him, but... Hydra wants the exact perfect uh, timing and the exact perfect setup in order to push their offstage advantage. And if you save those reads and start getting ramp comfortable going low, then suddenly that de that snake can turn into a sitting duck very quickly. And that at this percent, if you get him off stage in the wrong scenario, he could very well die at this percent, just like right now, going high this time. He doesn't be reverse, and he's gonna hit a get by the grenade anyway. Oh, really good grab, and yeah, he okay. is done, though. No amount of ceiling is gonna save you from that little down, down, up. down throw up tilt. It one of the truest confirms and one of the strongest kill confirms at, at such a percent where things start to stop. For most characters, things start to stop working and you have to just hunt for raw hits, raw neutral interactions, and Snake just finds a grab. I love how it's like, I consider it like an, like Snake down throw and Nest back throw are like up throws in my opinion. No matter where they are on the stage, if you reach that magic percent, you're gone. Like Mewtwo up throw, Marth and Lucina up throw, you just can't do anything. You're just sitting there like, man, my positioning was pretty good, and then I got grabbed. Goodbye. See you next game. Snake grab, man. Like that, especially the pivot grab. Like there is mm. some range on that. Like he be reaching and just scoops people. I've seen snake grab, grab Little Mac out of KO punch. Like it is just. He doesn't have a hurt box. His hurt box is all the way back here with his skinny little self, and he's like, my hands though. He really try he, them. He feeds these hands. I wonder if we went back to Battlefield. I didn't really catch that, but I can. We probably will. These characters both thrive on this stage, especially Snake. But yeah. these ladders coming out from maybe not. These ladders from Palutena have been kind of getting stuffed out by Grenade. I mean, he got a good call out with the Explosion Flame in the middle of the match, so it does roll both ways. But we'll see what we'll see what goes up. We'll it see what seems goes like up. Hydra was thinking about it a little bit, and I wouldn't be surprised to see something like Small Battlefield here. Is Ooh, Hollow Bastion. Ooh, okay, I, I can assume that maybe Smashville uh, neutrally was banned, but this stage gives you a lot of the strong uh, strong spots of Smashville while also having a higher ceiling. So it's understandable why Ram didn't uh, didn't let it be banned but also why Hydra wants to go here because the stage itself is just so favorable. Yeah, if you put that C4 on that center platform, tall characters like Palutena will just get hit. Anywhere that you put that C4 on there, it just covers so much options. Short characters, it's not the best thing because they're too, they're too low to the ground to actually get hit by it. But Palutena being very, very tall, yeah, that C4 is going to control so much stage. Oh, goodness gracious. That almost caught him in the blast zone at 100%. He wanted it. He, he full committed. It's like, all right, this whiff, Hydra knew, but what if I charge it, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm going to get punished for this, but what if you mess up? That'll be my stock. I love that about players that are willing to do uh, pull options like that. It's like, yeah, I'm not expecting you to be perfect every time. What if you fuck up here? <laughs> yeah, that X factor is really what makes a lot of players. I, like, I don't want to call it the low-level option, but it's always that phrase, you can't mind game the mindless. If you never have an understanding of what the opponent is doing, you have an inherent advantage, and that F smash is could go to show that he didn't like super punish him hard, but that back throw at 150%, uh, so Hollow Bastion not having the biggest blast zones, even Snake, a heavy character, is not going to live that. Yeah, FD blast zones are pretty uh, middle of the road, as is standard for a stage like Final Destination. So we're seeing that we're seeing the longer stage though start to take advantage. Oh, no. The F tilt 1 2, Hydra not expecting him to go full, uh, do both parts of the Rekka. Oh, he and went, again, he for it. trying for it one more time, and that's going to lead to potentially a lot more damage. A great tech on the part of Ram. Oh, that frame three out, that, like frame four, actually, if he was in the air, the one frame jump squad in the air, and the, the frame three down air is just going to get him out for free. Deal 20%. Oh, that was really good tech chase. That was really smart, but he's going to be put back off stage. And this Palutena stock is, once again, very fragile. Hydra doing a great job throughout the set of just holding on to stocks. And when you're holding on to stocks against Snake, you're racking up more and more percent. You're comboing off his grenades. You're doing what you need to do. And at this point, he's at 63%, and this is a stock well-earned and can even go farther. Yeah, but you can also consider this on the part of Ram where this just kind of happens against Palutena. Like, you get touched, you take you take 50 to 60. Oh, oh no. Mess up on the teleport. That's extremely unfortunate for Hydra, but exactly the break Ram needed. Now you don't have to worry about that stock, and you can start playing with a little, uh, when it comes to finding momentum, get these low percent combos going, and start throwing around these dash attacks and see where they land. But at 110, thanks to the explosive flame, going to be potentially set into a juggle, finds their way down, and finds their way out of shield, oh, too. Oh, no! He committed to the C4. He's not going to get that down air punish that he was looking for. That back air, that back air actually ate the grenade explosion. So not only did he get the damage of the back air, he got the, the, the uh, knockback and the damage of the grenade to add to it. 160% on Snake. That's That was a little bit misplaced, so it's not going to hit. 
Oh, the, that spot dodge is gonna kill him. The staff is actually a really funky hitbox where it mm -hmm. leans back and forth with uh, as it moves, and the top of it just extends a little bit farther forward, meaning it doesn't hits. need it. <laughs> oh, that tomahawk fair is gonna do so much percent, 100 percent off stage. This is near back to even if uh, if uh, Ram can find the right hit, mainly an up tilt. That upward kick can definitely take it at this percent, especially. So now these up airs trying to keep it safe. An up smash at ledge. First time we've seen. First time we've seen that in a hot minute, and it pays That's off do in it. turn. I like that little mix up from spacing from Ram. First they were right up against the ledge in order to uh, uh, feign covering the teleport to ledge, Ooh. and that time, uh, the second time over, it was meant to cover uh, a neutral getup. But Hydro is covering just about everything from this vertical pressure and, and up into so 93%. You are seeing it. Oh keep no! Going. The grenade. He re-grabbed the grenade so that didn't get hit by the up smash. Wow.